Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I am so, 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 so excited to be trying the brand new Huda Beauty Naughty Nude Palette. Now, I already know that you've got, I already know, I already know that you know, that I know, that you know, that I've got this on my eyes. You know what I meant. And I'm going to show you how to create this eye look that I did today. I honestly can't, can't explain enough how much I am in love. Cutie Beauty has done it again. Before we get into the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to follow my Instagram. My Instagram is beauty with Rianne. I will leave it at somewhere on the screen here for you guys. Make sure you follow my Instagram, make sure you subscribe, and let's get straight into this video. Okay guys, so we are just going to get straight into this. You guys don't understand how excited I truly am. Let's just take a minute please. Let's just take a minute. The second I seen this palette, right, the first nude palette that came out, I was a bit like, it's nice, but I felt like it was a bit too nude and plain, if that makes any sense. When I saw this, I was like, okay, okay, <clears throat> naughty nude, I see you. So I've already prepped my eyes with the Huda Beauty Concealer in the shade Toasted Almond. I also just went in with the um, Huda Beauty Powder Banana and just dabbed it over my eyelids as well just to get a nice base. We are going to go in. The beauty, the huda beauty, the naughty nude. So we are going to go in with the shade Arouse, which is this, this beautiful shade here. It's a nice soft pink. I would say a nice soft pink with a tint of orange in it. I quite like that. It's nice. Now I'm not putting too much on the brush as well because I don't know like how pigmented it was going to be. But so far the pigment is definitely there. Um, it is actually really nice and buildable. Um, considering I've only just went in for like two dabs and been blending it in, it's actually given a nice pigmentation that's blending really nice as well. So the next shade I'm going to go in with is... Fuck. So I'm going to go in with Naughty, which is this shade here, and then I'm going to build it up slightly with Spicy, which is this one here. Ooh, that picks up really, really, really nice. I know this is kind of a dirty brush, but look how nice it picks up on that brush there. Okay. Pigment, hello? Do you see what I'm saying about it blending so nicely? I literally just put a dot and I've just like blended it out so gently and look. I so badly want to go in with the shade Slippery. Look, just, no, right. I need to come closer to show you guys. Look at those pearls. It literally looks like little gems or little, like, gold, rose gold leaf balls. I don't know. It looks beautiful. I love this shade so much. Is it even a shade? Like, what is this? Right, I'm going to try it in my hand. It literally feels creamy. Look at that shimmer. Wow, look at that shimmer. Okay, I see you, Hira. I see you. This two toned shimmer shade is catching my eye. It's flower power. This gold and like 
bronze it's catching my eyes so much so I think I'm going to go and move that oh wow oh wow Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Oh wow. Guys, look at that pigment. Look at that shine. Look at that glitter. Like, wow. It literally just looks like glass. Loving it. The only thing I would say about this shade is, even though it's got two tones in the palette, I wouldn't say it comes off as the two tones. I would say it's more... The white shimmer that I'm seeing rather than the bronze like I'm not seeing the bronze that much Um, I don't know if I'm maybe not getting much of that on the brush maybe that's why but I am seeing much of the bronzy shade I'm seeing more of the this <laughs> this shimmer which is beautiful I am so happy with that like it just looks so beautiful the glitter on my face not so much okay but let's see if I can is this going to be one of these glitters that just become part of your skin and do not come off no matter what you do? Yep, I think it might be. Yeah, you can literally still see it on my face. So I have actually already prepped my skin with my two favourite products from Wishful. So I first went in with the Wishful Honey Balm, which I absolutely love. This is such a good moisturiser. And I then went in with the Wishful Get Even Rose Oil. Oh, I love this. It's Rose oil is so good for your skin itself. So I absolutely love this product. It's just amazing. It works absolute wonders. And both of these products, they just smell insane. Like each time I put them on, I'm like, they just smell so beautiful. I love them. So I actually got the new Huda Beauty foundation stick foundation as well. Foundation stick foundation. Of course it's foundation stick foundation. Okay. I actually got that as well. I have tried it. I did like it. I'm going to try it for you guys on video since I haven't actually done a video of this. Um, there are plenty of videos on my Instagram and I will be uploading a lot more there as well. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. Beauty with Rianne. And let's go in with this. So this is the shade Brown Sugar 410G. Now, the original foundation I used from Huda Beauty before, that's the only other one that she has, I believe. So that's the only other one that I've tried. Now that one is the shade Brown Sugar as well, hence why I got the same shade. However, when I did check um, what, like the shade guide and everything, the foundation sticks, some of the shades have been like altered, upgraded, modified or changed in some sort of way. So I feel like this is maybe a touch dark. Once it's blending this up it's okay but I feel like, not even dark, I feel like it's more it's a little bit more orange or golden which it did actually say on the guide anyway. Um, compared to the, the, the first foundation, this has uh, more of an orange undertone, I believe it said. So that is the only thing um, I would say about this foundation. But I do feel like it's the foundation itself, it is, it's really nice, it is blendable. Even like when I'm blending it in here, you can see how nice it's blending. Even when I'm blending it in here, I feel like it is a touch too orange, but like once the full look is complete it kind of looks fine so I'll show you what, what I mean like on camera it actually doesn't look so bad like it looks quite it, it doesn't look bad at all but in my mirror I feel like I look so orange right now and the thing I do like about this foundation is it's not as it's definitely definitely not as heavy as um her other foundation um, it's very, it feels very lightweight, like I almost feel like I don't have anything in, on, anything in? I feel like I don't have anything on my skin, um, but also I feel like it covers really nice, like, it's buildable, so I could definitely build it up to have more coverage, but I feel, even the first layer, 
I feel like it's covering quite quite nice. I mean, yeah, you can still see some dark spots, um, like around here, um, but I do still feel like it gives a nice coverage without it being too heavy, which is what I like about it. And because I use the rose oil and the uh, honey balm moisturizer under it. I feel like that just gives such a nice base and it blends out so nicely. I think the first time I used this, I didn't, I don't think I used, um, I don't think I used the rose oil underneath it and I felt like it was a little bit more, like now it's so much easier to blend whereas before it wasn't that easy to blend in. This is actually the new Huda Beauty brush as well, so this is the face build and buff. So you got this side for your foundation, which buffs out really, really nicely. It doesn't leave any brush marks, any streaks, anything like that. And then you've got this side as well, which I've been using for concealer because I just feel like it's a nice cute brush for it. I mean, you could probably use it to blend out foundation as well, but I've been using it for concealer and powder. And that works quite well for me. You can literally still see all the glitter from the eyeshadow which is a little bit annoying. I'm now just going to go in with the Huda Beauty um, concealer, the Overachiever concealer, in the shade Graham Cracker. Now we're going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Truffle. I don't know why I always look at the shade at the bottom when I use this, like, constantly. I always need to remind myself of the shades. I'm now just going in with the Huda Beauty, which is a mess, powder in the shade Banana Bread. Okay, I'm just going to let the powder set in place and I'm going to go in with my favourite mascara, the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes. I absolutely love this mascara. It is like... Can you guys see why this is my favourite mascara? Look at them lashes. I'm just going to take the powder off so that I can do my bottom lashes. I am absolutely feeling this look. I'm absolutely loving it. Loving it. Only thing that's annoying me is the fact that the glitter from the eyeshadow is literally still on my face. You can literally see it, I don't know, like, and I'm moving, see, you can still see it just shining away. I am going to go in with my favourite Fenty Beauty 24 Cray Highlighter. Look at this shade. I love this so much. It's just beautiful. I literally love this so much. So for my lips, I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty. I don't know why I looked at it like that. <laughs> I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty, I'm doing it again, Huda Beauty Lip Contour in the shade Spice Girl. And I'm now going to go in with the Huda Beauty Silk Balm. This is just like a glossy, glossy, plumping sort of lip gloss. I love going in with a dark liner. And then going in with like a nice neutral gloss. And I'm just going to finish off with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set Setting Spray. Okay, the Naughty Nude is my new go-to nude palette. Because I don't know if you guys remember the original nude. Now, I just feel like a lot of the shades that were in there just didn't work for me personally. Whereas this one, this one is just... This one is the one. This is my new go-to nude palette. Naughty nude palette. 
and I absolutely love it. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know what you thought in the comments section below. Now, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.